right, YouTube. I'm gonna see if I can belt this one out all in one take. Um, if any of you guys have been watching my channel, um, if you're new, this might be a, a cool video for you guys also. Um, you might know that I recently, the past year, went to HVA school, HVAC school, and uh, I am currently now working in the industry. So I'm going to try to explain what it takes to get into the HVAC field. So first of all, before you even think about doing this, you got to have some big cojones. Yes, you got to have some big balls because working in the HVAC field, uh, you're going to have to do a lot of somewhat crazy stuff. Number one, you're going to have to work with electricity. Um, number two, it, you're going to get wet. So water and electricity, that doesn't mix. Um, at times, not all the time. Um, you're going to have to be comfortable in heights. Um, climbing ladders. Um, you might have to climb up to a, um, you know, climb up a ladder with the cage on them. You might see them on the side of buildings or uh, water towers or water coolers. There are these uh, cooling towers um, in the HVAC field. So you got to be comfortable going up ladders, going up on rooftops, working with electricity, you know, um, and just being uh, an all-around badass when it comes to it. So, secondly, um, what you're going to need is a massive tool setup. Now, I do not have every single tool yet. I still have to get some things, but I wanted to show this video and show the tools that I have got because tomorrow my company is giving me a, a van and I am out on my own. I am no longer with somebody anymore. So I got my tools, well, most of them, and uh, I'm just going to show them. Now these are pretty much top-notch tools that I bought. So be prepared to spend thousands when you start to buy tools. First of all, if you're going to be an HVA technician, HVAC technician, one of the main things you're going to need is a backpack. Now, of course, I got pretty much the ba best backpack there is. I got a Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack. Now, this is like the best of the best I consider in uh, backpacks for HVAC. I did a lot of research. Um, I watch a lot of channels that deal with HVAC and most of the guys that really do the, the, the pro stuff and are really good technicians have a Vito Pro Pack. This thing is unbelievable. I'll leave a link in the description. It has pockets everywhere. It comes with a five year zero down time warranty. That means if something on the bag breaks and you want to get it fixed, you send it back to Vito. They send you a loaner bag so you can keep working. They fix your bag and then they send it back. Five years. So that's it right there. That's the. Let me open it up and just show you guys. This is the main back pouch. You got all your pockets for all your various different tools. You can see I just got the thing. Uh, it's still got the cardboard in it. I'm gonna take that out because you know my uh, videos. You know what I do with that stuff. I throw it on my floor. Um, so yeah, let me uh, close that up. That's the the main pouch. Um, this is your, this is uh, where you put your gauges. In the HVAC, HVACR field, we use uh, manifold gauges. That's your gauge pocket. Now, this is a, a backpack, too. So, you see, it's got the backpack straps. They're reinforced. You got the crush, uh, chest strap that goes across. You have a hook that pops out so you can attach it to a rope and maybe if you can't fit up the ladder a lot of times the ladders are very narrow and you can't fit with the backpack on your back so what you do is you climb up you rope this off you tie it to yourself and you carry it up behind you or you leave it on the ground you climb up and you grab the rope and pull it up behind you 
Let me stick that hook back. Um, the next thing is the other pocket where you hold all your other main tools. You can see this is a reinforced handle that pops and folds down. And then unzip there and this folds out too. And this is mainly where you keep uh, like your electronic equipment, like your leak detector, uh, your volt amp meter, and uh, various other tools. Now there's all kinds of various other pockets. I'm not going to get into that right now because you guys can go to Vito, Vito Pro Pack, or you can check them out here on YouTube. They have it on YouTube also. Go to their channel, check out their packs. And like I said, this is pretty much best of the best when it comes to... Uh, backpacks I paid uh, 260 bucks for this backpack believe it or not it's unbelievable it's really well made it's got leather it's got metal it's uh, awesome the bottom is wide real nice and wide um, so you, it stands up whenever you put it down um, and it's just an amazing backpack so that's like the main thing you really got to have and to put all your tools in and to lug them all around with is something this good now the next main thing I'm gonna show you now this is another one that is pretty much best of the best in my opinion other people might say different but I bought a Testo gauge set now this is not your ordinary gauge set obviously anybody that does the HVAC field will know once they see this badass that it's a pretty cool gauge set. This is the Testo 570 digital manifold. I paid huge money for this manifold. Uh, almost $700 for this piece of equipment. I haven't even put the batteries in it yet. So I'm not gonna turn it on. I'm not gonna show you how it works. But that's pretty much it. This thing does pretty much everything you could believe that you want it to do. And it even has Bluetooth so you can print out uh, information such as pressures, refrigerant charge that is in the system. Um, just a, a ton of stuff. The, the temperatures of your high side and your low side. It does everything. You got a sight glass built on it. You got your four ports. You got your high side, your low side, your vacuum, your fill. Oh, it's just awesome. And I can't wait to uh, finally get it working and uh, finally using it. I do not have hoses yet. They are on the way. I only have my vacuum hose and I don't know if I'm going to show that. Actually, let me grab it real quick. This is uh, the Yellow Jacket 60 inch, uh, 3 8 diameter vacuum hose that goes on the gauge to pull a vacuum on your system. You got your temperature clamps, they attach right to the unit. You clamp these on, you get your high side, your low side temperatures. Uh, really awesomely compatible with uh, much of the other Testo equipment. It comes with the USB cable. Check them out, you can see them on, here on YouTube. Uh, TestoDirect.com too to order all this stuff. It comes with an awesome hard case and uh, foam inside so you don't bounce it around and all that wonderful stuff okay so next next uh, I'm gonna show I guess uh, this field piece leak detection system in the HVAC field you uh, refrigerants leak so you need to be able to find them and they use different methods of uh, refrigerant um, leak detectors. This is, happens to be a heated diode refrigerant detector. It's uh, the model SRL8. And uh, you can see this thing in action plenty all over YouTube also. Pretty much you hold it in your hand, you push the button, and you take this around the tubes, and when it detects refrigerant, the lights go off the chop. It has different sightings. It's got uh, various ways to recharge it and uh, various other things to go with it. So that's another pretty much main thing that you need to get into the HVAC field. Okay, next. One of the main, main things is your service wrench. Got this service wrench too. Oh, by the way, that yellow jacket 
I mean, oh, now the yellow jacket hose I got was about 50 bucks. Um, this field piece was, uh, I think about 240 around there on Amazon. I don't know if that's better than going to like a supply house like Johnstone or Michaels or something like that. I don't know if it's better. I haven't really priced them at it. I just wanted to order everything all at once, ship it to the house. And uh, I don't have an account with uh, Johnstone yet anyways. Even though I could have probably set one up through my company, but I didn't really feel like doing, dealing with that right now. And plus I've been busy working, so. Yeah, your service wrench. This is a main, main piece in servicing HVAC equipment is you need a service wrench and I think I paid like 14 bucks for that you need this is a nitrogen regulator UniWeld you got this too off Amazon I forget how much I paid for it but you need nitrogen put it in the system awesome deal I really got one awesome awesomely cool uh, ratcheting Craftsman ratcheting wrench systems. You need these. These things save so much time. These are awesome wrenches, and you know, Craftsman, if they ever break or whatever, bring them back to give you new ones. They save so much time in the HVAC field. So, bought a set of them, got them on sale at Sears, $61. What I got next, another another mainstay is drills. I got both uh, this DCD 780 DeWalt, and I recommend you get more than 18 volt. I got the 20 volt uh, lithium ion setup. Comes with two batteries. You can see I got them both on there. And this is the DCF885 uh, impact driver. This is the main thing that uh, I've been using. I've been using my partners for a while. And I finally got to buy them. Uh, I paid about 300 and, I don't know, 40 bucks for this setup also. And while well, I'm at it, I might as well show the uh, attachments. I bought pretty much all your bits and there's all different ones I bought these all in one set it cost about 35 bucks all these little compartments they all come in one kit I figured hey bang them all out get it all together when I'm buying it and I did and it was a very good investment if you ask me more uh, hex nuts um, Phillips flatheads uh, driver uh, Craftsman a ratcheting pipe cutter this is pretty cool too it's good for tight spots in the HVAC field you get in tight spots you get to cut a pipe you slap this bad boy around on it you pull the thing and you ratchet the pipe cutter right around instead of having to put a pipe cutter on and then turn it around the pipe so really really awesomely useful tool in the field Allen wrenches I got uh, two sets this is one set I have another set down in my oil service bag because I also do um, oil burner service not my company does I do that personally because uh, I took a three combo program gas HVAC CR and um, oil burner technician course Monkey wrenches, uh, I was told I should have about four of these. Two 10 inch and um, two 16 inch maybe, larger ones. I only got this one for now. And uh, yeah, more bits from DeWalt. I got another, these are replacement bits. All the same, pretty much, um, just in case you lose them. And that all came together in the DeWalt package. So that was awesome. Another thing, ratcheting screwdriver. Uh, I think this was uh, 14 pieces and you slap some of them on right in there. Put them back in there, it ratchets. Um, and then you click it and you go back the other way. Awesome tool. 
uh, very worth the investment. I forget what I paid for that also, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what, what it takes um, to get into this field. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If uh, you like this channel, subscribe. Um, if you don't like it, you know, oh well, I really don't care. But um, you can give me a like. Use your thumbs like uh, the amazing human beings that we are. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't care which one you give. Just use them. Um, human beings uh, rule this planet for a reason. It's because we have opposable thumbs. And on YouTube, uh, you should use them. So, all right, everybody. Have a great one. Have a great week, weekend. Um, enjoy life. And uh, peace out, YouTube.